Hello, Church in Quarantine. It's uh, April 20th, 2020 AD. Boy, has this been a weird year. And I say 2020 AD because it's better than 2020 BC or any year with BC attached because we live on the best side of the resurrection. Amen. Not just weeks away from the Easter we celebrated, but the actual resurrection of Jesus and his spirit at work in the world telling us that God is alive. We get to see God for who God is. Prior to then, it would have been very difficult. Now, have you been given the gift of understanding and believing on Jesus as Savior? If so, what did he tell us, his post-Easter disciples, to do? Clearly, he said to be his witnesses and to give testimony. In Luke, he said, this is what I told you when he was meeting with those disciples in the upper room prior to his ascension. He said, this is what I told you when I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms. And then he opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures. And that kind of mind opening only happens on this side of the resurrection. He told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations. Beginning at Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. Sounds a lot like what he said in Acts before his actual ascension. He said, when they gathered around him, in fact, they asked him, gathered around Jesus. They said, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? They, they didn't know what they were asking. They, they were still confusing Jesus with a political power, I think, a, a, a king of a kingdom on earth. And Jesus said, it's not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power, talking about the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, 50 days after the resurrection. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. If you believe, if you've come to understand that Christ is the Savior, the resurrected one for you and for me and for all the world, then you've been given a gift and you've been given a job to be a witness. Now, so so my question is simply this, and this is a short letter today. Have you met Jesus? Have you asked God to open the eyes of your heart to his presence? Has Christ revealed anything to you? Do you have a testimony? That's what I'm asking. If you've put your trust in Jesus as Savior, if you've come to believe, you have a testimony. In church, uh, this just yesterday, we saw the testimony of Whispering Danny. If you want to see it, just look up. I'll try to link it in one of the comments. But if you go to YouTube and type in Whispering Danny testimony, you'll get a 10-minute testimony uh, from a tattoo artist here in Kansas City named Whispering Danny. Great story and a great outline of how God came to be known in his life as Savior. It's, it's his testimony to how he came to know Jesus. If you're a believer, you have one. And it doesn't have to be dramatic. It just has to have this outline. In fact, here's, here's what I'm asking. I'm asking that whoever hears this and wants to take this challenge would write their testimony. And, and, and if you wish, even film it. But, but start by writing it. And do me the great honor of sending it to me at Godsquad at ClassicNet.net. I'll leave that link on here too. But here's the outline. Describe your life before you met Jesus. So, point one, what was life like before Jesus? Two, how did you meet Jesus? Tell me the story of how you met him and came to believe in him. And three, what's life been like since you met Jesus? Simple outline. One, life before Jesus. Two, how you met Jesus. Three, now, what's life like now? I'll leave some links on here in the printed portion of this about how you can contact me. But again, if you wish, send me that send it to your pastor if you're not part of our church send it to somebody you trust write it down show it to somebody and if you would even send it to me at godsquad at classicnet.net bless you